Welcome. In this class, we will be solving the next 25 questions for the CSET paper 2 2016. Now, the first question here talks about the total, uh, the exact duration for each period that we have to calculate. Now, the total duration, let's find out that from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m., it would be 3 hours. So, 3 hours would be 180 minutes plus another 27 minutes. So, it would be 207 minutes. Now, out of that, you have 4 periods. So, if I break down 4 periods, I would have 3 intervals. Each interval is of 5 minutes. So, total time duration for the interval would be 15. So, total time for the classes would be 192. In 192 time, I would have 4 classes. So, the time for each class would be 48 minutes. So, 1 would be the correct answer here. Next question. In this, you have to find out the minimum time required to cross the bridge. Now, we, since we have to find out minimum time required, we will start with A which is taking minimum time that is 1. So, first we will take A with B, then A with C and A with D. So, when A goes with B, they will take 2 minutes to go and then A would return in 1 minute. When it goes with C, it, they will take 7 minutes to go and it would return back in 1 minute. So, once it's back, it would go with again with D in 10 minutes and now it does not need to return back because it has already crossed the bridge. So, all of the friends have crossed the bridge. So, this total time would be 21. So, answer would be 21 minutes would be the minimum time required. Now, in this question, you have to find out the dissolution that is gram per milliliters. In the vessel A, it would be 30 by 180. So, that would be 1 sixth. In vessel B, it would be 40 by 280 that is 1 7th in vessel C it would be 20 by 100 so that would be 1 5th. So it is asked the solution of vessel B I can say it is dilutist and it is less sweet than A and C. So it would be less sweet than C would be the correct answer. Next question you have the number of students and the amount collected per student would be equal. So the total amount collected would be number of students into amount collected per student plus 2 would be equal to 443. Now since amount collected per student is equal to number of students I can say S square is equal to 443 minus 2 that is 441. So S would be under root of 441 that is 21. So 21 would be the correct answer in this case. Next question. You have 10 questions from arithmetic 10 from L, uh, sorry 30 from algebra and 30 from geometry out of this you do 70 percent correct so you have seven questions that are correct here you do 40 percent correct that is 12 questions are correct and here you do 60 percent correct that is 18 questions are correct so total correct number of questions would be sum of all these which would be 37 now 60 percent is the minimum pass marks required out of the 70 questions so, for 70 questions, 60% would be 42. So, you need 42 minus 37, that is 5 more questions should be done correctly in order to uh, score 60% in the paper. Now, this question is a bit tricky. Um, if you have gone through the postal material, you would have find a lot of these questions. So, you would have, uh, let the total number of students be x. So, number of boys is 2 thirds. So, 2 third x would be boys. Of these boys, 3 fourth boys are very tall and those are 18 in number. So, if I solve this, x would be 36. Now, 2 third x would be the total number of boys that is boys and those would be 24. So, I need to calculate the number of girls that would be total students minus boys. So, 36 minus 24 that would be 12. So, 12 would be the answer in this case. Next question. Now, I can write three equations from the three statements. So, the first equation would be A is older than or equal to B, D is older than or equal to C and then B is older than C. Since I am saying B is older than C, A would definitely be older than C. So, I have A is older than C as well. So, D would be the correct answer in this case. The next question, you have the monthly average salary that is given that is 5000. Now you have the number of males and number of females. So what I do is let's consider the number of males to be x. So 5200 0, 0, x plus 4200 0, 0, 100 minus x that would be girls would be equal to 5000 into 100 
and when I solve this and I solve for x, I get x is equal to 80%. So, 80% would be the correct answer. Next question. Now, in this question, what we have to do is you have to apply three things. Now, best way is to first go through the questions. Since in the question, the position is not asked, just ignore all the information that is given about position. So, you have A, B, C, D, E and F that is given. You have to find the games and the colors. Now, you have B with volleyball that is given. So, you would have B with volleyball. A, C plays cricket which is painted green. So, C with cricket and that is green. You have A. Uh, the value of A is again given. A contains tennis ball and orange in color. So, you have tennis and orange color here. Now, it is given that golf is violet and it is not in D. Again, it is given hockey is not in D, not in E. It is not blue in color. It is not yellow in color. So, now we have the values for tennis, volleyball and cricket that is given. Hockey cannot be in D and E. So, the only option remains for hockey is F. Now, I am again saying golf cannot be in D. So, golf can be in E. So, football would be in D. Now, the region with go uh, the golf is violet. So, with golf you have violet here. Hockey ball cannot be blue yellow. The other three colors are given. So, the only color that remains is indigo. So, hockey would be indigo. And out of these D and B, any can be blue or yellow and this can be blue and yellow. Now, the question says which box contains golf ball? So, you have golf in E. So, E would be the correct answer. Next is which of the following statement is correct? F is painted indigo that is correct. Then the football is in uh, the box of which color? So color of the box of football I don't know. It can be blue, it can be yellow. So cannot be determined as data is in inadequate would be the answer here. Next question. In this question let's start with Z. Consider Z to be 100. Now what you have to do is to find X and Y. So, since I have z as 100, I say x would be 80, that's 20 percent less and y would be 72, that is 28 percent less. Now, the percentage of y less than x would be x minus y divided by x into 100. So, that is 80 minus 72 divided by 80 into 100 and that would be 10 percent. So, b would be the correct answer. Now, this is again a tricky question which implies uh, apply, uh, where you have to apply a lot of uh, rational and critical thinking. So, you have let's say shuttle bus running on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Now, it uh, uh, starts from A on Monday at 6 am and completes it in 48 hours. So, total 24 hours implies 48 hours. So, it's completing before 48 hours. So, that means it would reach station W somewhere before 6 am. So, it would be 6 hours before uh, the 6 am here. So, it would be around 12 midnight. So, it would reach here. So, it can depart from station B on Wednesday itself. Since it can depart on Wednesday itself, it would reach back to A on Friday. So, one shuttle which starts on Monday can again start on Friday from the same point A. Similarly, on Tuesday you need new one, Wednesday you need new and Thursday you need new because Friday it would repeat again. So, you would have four shuttle services that would be required. So, the answer would be C. Next, let's find out the surface area of the rectangle sorry uh, the area of the rectangle so the area of the rectangle would be 12 into 8 that is 96 and this equals to the surface area of the cube that is 6a square now a square would be 96 by 6 that is 16 and so we can say a would be 4 so 4 would be the correct answer here next question this question is asking about permutation there is no combination okay 
so there can be no two candidates which have given the same answers so this question focuses on permutation and not combination so for the first question what you can do is you can have two options true or false so there can be two options similarly for the second question again true or false so two options and same goes till fifth question so you can have two options so total number of maximum number of candidates could be 2 raised to power 5 because you have 5 times the option so you have 2 raised to power 5 that is 32 would be the correct answer now these questions are based on direct passage so you have the first question that talks about crony capitalism and crony capitalism means illegal practices so the correct answer here would be greater transparency in functioning of the government and promoting financial inculcation is needed so c would be the correct answer next question this passage talks about that you have agricultural practices which are diversified as crop diversification, integrated water and pest management and so on. However, some focus on climate changes, others focus on economic development. Therefore, I can say here what you are trying to do is you are trying to understand climatic adaptation in tandem with the economic developments, uh, economic development options. So D would be the correct answer here. Next question. You are trying to understand the biodiversity and you are saying since there are, there is, uh, bio, this biodiversity includes variety of plants, animals, microorganisms, these have an ability uh, to naturally recycle water or I can say nature has the ability to re, uh, recycle water by its own. So A would be the correct answer. Next question, this question talks about we have already done the automation in the banking system. However, it is a need today to include the common man. So that is basically where you start with the Jandan Yojana. So you have the financial inclusion. So the concept of financial inclusion is talked about in this passage. There is a need to promote financial inclusion. Next question. This question focuses on manual scavenging. Now in the first thing it says uh, urban sanitation problems can be fully solved by abolition of manual scavenging only. Since there is word only, this statement becomes incorrect. That is one of the reasons, not the only reason. However, there is a need to promote greater awareness for safe sanitation practices in urban area. That is correct. So, two would be the correct answer here. Next question. This question talks about a kind of balance between the nature and how the diverse nature force the man towards the social system. So you have D as the correct answer here. Next question. This question talks about that legal imperatives help you create effective demand for the state and that can be made only by distribution of economic power. That means distribution of economic power predominates the politics. So you would have predominance of economics over politics as the correct answer. And the last question based on passage, this talks about the global greenhouse gases. So 15% of which comes from agricultural practices, the remaining 17% comes from land use changes out of which 3 fourth comes from deforestation and the remaining comes from tropical peatland. And so this is what is talked about in the passage. So the main idea, I could say the main inference I can derive here is an imperative to modify the land use practices in order to mitigate the climate change. So B would be the correct option here. Again, this was a passage directly from the uh, environmental section. So you have to be very good at the section on environment and you have to have a critical understanding of the topics. Now this question says, <coughs> I start on a hill from point O in the ground or on the ground and go into the direction of northeast and then I reach point A after traveling a distance of 5 kilometers then from A to B which is in the northwest direction I go 12 kilometers. So the distance from O to A would be so this becomes a right angle so this would be a kind of Pythagoras you can apply here so 12 square plus 5 square under root would be this distance and this would be 13 so answer would be 13 in this case finally now this question talks about a simple uh, theorem where if I have the parameter given if the parameter is same in all cases the maximum area would be of the square so let's say x1 and x2 are given and that make 40 so 
what would happen if I consider these to be 20, 20? If I consider these to be 20, 20 each, the area would be 400. Now, if I make it 15 and it, I make it 25, the area becomes 375. If I make it 10 and if I make it 30, it becomes 300. So, you have a kind of decrease in the area with the changes in the length and the breadth. However, if it is a square, if it is a square of 20 by 20, it would have maximum area. So, the maximum area or I can say the area will not exceed 400 square meters would be the correct option here. So, A would be the correct answer. So, with this we cover the next 50 questions. We will be covering the final set in the next class. You can subscribe to our channel for more updates on paper 2 and refer our postal course for more questions and practice questions like these. Have a good day ahead.